Use the code Cusco Wellness, and that will automatically enter you into that that giveaway that we're going to do. Ah, pouring the last of the holiday eggnog into the last coffee of 2020. I grabbed him. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's a little too cold. <laughs> Damn it! 2020, man. This is not that bad if you sip it again. Oh, yeah. Could be much worse. All right, guys. It's time. It's that time. It's that time. 2020, year in review. But it's the camera that determines how natural the colors look. So I know for a lot of people that 2020 was kind of a downer year. I think that's generally the consensus. I found that if I turned the TV off, or I didn't, not that I have a TV, but if I if I didn't watch the news, if I, if I stayed away from that stuff and just went outside and lived normal life without allowing everything to pile into me via social media and, and phones and screens, it was generally okay out there. I'm not saying some people didn't have rough. I'm not saying some people didn't lose their lives. I'm saying if you didn't pay attention to what was being fed to you, through a screen, for me, it seemed to be pretty okay. And that's why I'd like you to leave a comment down below before we get started on this, which we've got lots of really cool announcements because we got some exciting things coming up. But before we get into that, please leave a comment down below with something positive you got from this year, something that was good in your life this year. I'd like you to take a moment to reflect on that because it's easy as it is to go negative and reflect on the bad stuff that may have happened. Just find that that one thing, just one thing, and comment down below. I'll be down there reading all your guys' comments to see what it is good that came for you this year. Because I know there was something, because there is, always. No matter what kind of a shit year it was. January, look, my hair. <laughs> this is the year I cut my hair. This is actually the first corona haircut I give myself. I, I've, I'd gone to the salon a couple times and got it cut, but this time it's all like kind of a little more serious lockdown. We're visiting family, so we're trying to stay distant. But I, I, I cut it myself this time. Does it look okay? I didn't even use a mirror. I just, I just, I do okay? The hair, looking back, that, that's one thing I do not regret. Cutting the hair off, oh, best decision I made this year. One of the best decisions I made this year, for sure. Look at Noah's teeth. We, Noah got his, I didn't realize, the beginning of this year, Noah still didn't have his front teeth. Now he's got two big, shiny, huge, massive Cusco teeth. Filling in where there used to be nothing. Remember how long his teeth were gone? They were gone forever. That's the best thing about making these videos is all the, the memories that are stored that we can go back and, and check out and look at. And Was this foreshadowing for the year, me giving Jimmy a wig? Was that foreshadowing? I feel like that was a little bit of foreshadowing for the year. Somebody needs a wig. Two hands, underhand, two hands, you guys have support. Just set up for it. Definitely we're gonna do a lot of work this time. It's not all- No, 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 this isn't good, the show's over. <laughs> now this is still before everything came crashing down February went to Australia with Dave Kaufman. That was a that was a big good start to the year. Dave 
has become a very good friend and we have way too much fun when we're hanging out together definitely definitely true um and speaking of dave my not one of my announcements for the very beginning of this year involves dave so make sure you stay tuned for that part yeah australia with dave man and uh that the final show of roaming reptiles that i did right before we left on that australian trip outdoor school super cool lost my indigo snake did get him back you remember that this guy hillary found him in the car the next day thankfully oh man that sucked at the end of february the beginning of march we landed back in the states to the vote for the national emergency for COVID. That was that was how we landed back in the States. Barely made it in by the skin of our teeth. If we had stayed one day longer in Australia, it would have been much more difficult for us to get back. We landed, of course, Tinley Park was canceled. That's definitely one of the big downers this year. All the big reptile shows, none of them happened. And that's what I'm really hoping 2021 will be getting back to these big shows. It did lead to Triple B TV Live, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, we got our Patreon community has been growing like huge and and because of maybe because of the Zoom calls we do afterwards. I, I don't know what else to attribute it to. We had this goal that I've been trying to hit in Patreon for like since we started it. And we never we, we always get real close to it and then it just kind of falls back. Then get real close and it falls back. And we just again got real close and it fell back down. I, I recommend checking it out. We're gonna have a lot of good guests this year, and after every one, we get to have a little personal chat with them after the live stream. It's been it's been fun. It's been a lot of good. Uh, if you if you guys are on Patreon, leave a comment down below. Let everybody know what you think about it. You know, and then you can be brutally honest. Right after COVID hit, we immediately went to work on just being creative, especially that first little baby. Didn't know what was gonna happen. April came and that birthed plenty of teepee. I had plenty of teepee, but I gave it all away. Because we got this nice bidet. We'll booty spray and I'm on my way. I don't know if you guys remember that song. We had some pretty good musical outlets this year, I think, and plenty of teepee was kind of the way we kicked it off. It was kind of a, a throwback to pee on a tree, but with, with plenty of teepee instead. That was that was a lot of fun. And that was one really great thing that, that 2020 brought for me personally is, is realizing how much I really do enjoy my family because we've spent so much time together. And, and, and for as much time we spend around each other, you'd think people, we'd get sick of each other. That, that we spend so much time together, all, day in, day out, which is great. It's fantastic. And it, it sounds great in theory. And for us, it's worked out to be good even in practice which is incredible. Not that they don't drive me crazy from time to time, but overall, it's like I, I really have loved that aspect of this year, spending so much time with my family. It's been truly a huge blessing for me, whether forced or not. They made me realize how much, because they've only been, I've only been away from them for a day, and I'm already like, where are they? I miss them. I miss them already. Just, just, man, I wouldn't have had it any other way. And then more creativity, stuck at home, uh, building the chicken coop. I, I hadn't built anything in a while, and it just felt good to get my hands on some wood, and that sounded wrong to build something with my hands and tools and, and have it come to fruition. It's standing out there strong, chickens are going good. Noah's doing a fantastic job taking care of the chickens. We get all kinds of fresh eggs all the time. Got to meet my buddy Shane in person and, and all the friends, there's so many friends we got to meet this year. And then June also herping with Brian Gundy. Garrett came out to visit and it started to feel a little bit normal that we had people coming to visit friends. The birth of Johnny on the spot and Bobby Wheatgrass, which some of you guys thought was racist. And I was like, well, how is it racist? I can't figure out how it's racist. Everything's racist. Even me. I'm just I'm, I'm just racist. I'm, I'm brown. I'm white. I can't figure it out. <clears throat> Racism. Yeah, that, that was June. And then July, I got my first venomous snake, even though it's rear fang venomous. But, you know, I've been, I've been bit by a hognose snake before, and it hurts. And it, my fingers swelled up. My tiny little poor fingers swelled up because there's venom in there. There's venom. It's technically venomous. I don't care if it's not a king cobra that makes my finger fall out. It still hurt a lot. My feelings. Ouch. It 
cool clutch is hashing this year too. That that bamboo clutch, which I will never ever make another single coral glow or banana video again. Sasquatch, thank you very much. We got to meet Sasquatch just recently. He joined our Patreon. We have the legendary Sasquatch commenting on all these videos. We we saw him in person, in the flesh, guys. If you want to join, if there's any reason for you to want to join the Patreon, just even for a month, just so you can join the Zoom calls, we actually get to see Sasquatch in person. In person. Real. He's real. He's not just commenting on the internet. He's real. August paved the way for another awesome clutch, that, that phenomenal sunset clutch, which... I'm thinking about doing some kind of giveaway with uh, some of the posset sunsets that are super strong. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe something get, get you guys motivated to get healthy like I have been this past couple months and moving on into 2021, the best shape of my life. Ooh, these yoga pants are no joke. Comfy, and that could be so flexible. And August, yes, that, and the, that clutch hatched on Eli's birthday. It was really cool to have clutches hatching on special events like Hillary and I's anniversary, then Eli's birthday, we had clutches hatching. It, was, it makes them that much more extra special to hatch out those clutches. And then August too, we got to go to Utah and hang out with our buddy Clint and form a stronger bond with that gentleman because that, that's an awesome dude right there, man. Clint, that's one another another huge highlight of 2020 is forming a stronger friendship with Mr. Clint Laidlaw over there at Clint's Reptiles. That guy is a phenomenal human being, man. And I can give up, you know, I, I wish, I, I wanna give it, there's so many great people we've got to meet through YouTube, like incredible people. It's been, it's been such a, a great uh, thing. Moving right along to September. That's when I learned that it is possible to do a family friendly striptease. And we had a lot of fun. It was to celebrate the cutting of the hair, the letting go of the old, in with the new, follicles growing out, clothes coming off, but just, just enough to stay family friendly. Until I busted out the too short, then it might got a little bit over the top with the too short. Maybe. Well, up until that moment, it was family friendly, right up until the too short. I'm looking at my notes. It says Dave eBay. What does that mean? Oh, East Bay Vivarium. Going to the East Bay Vivarium with Dave and filming at the place where I got my first snake and my, my childhood adventure place for reptiles and going there and, and filming and, and reliving that. That was awesome. That was definitely a highlight. Mm. And then of course in October, we went to the Reptarium. I got to meet Lincoln with Brian again. Had been a long time. Had been more than a year since I had hung out with Brian. And I told him, I'm gonna make a regular thing and, and not go that long again without hanging out. Such a freaking awesome guy. He's doing such good work over there with the Reptarium and dude, Dude, we got to go be on his podcast and all that. It was fantastic. That was super highlight. That experience I got to have with the anaconda in particular, Ivy in her enclosure, swimming, letting her crawl. One of the coolest snake experiences I've ever had in my life. Super cool. Man, what a freaking great time. More stuff planned where that goes for sure. And then November rolled around and even before Thanksgiving, I did that cleanse, got Hillary starting her YouTube channel, which she will hopefully keep up on. She's already kind of slacking a little bit on that. <laughs> but, but but that's, I think, what we're going to do. If, if any of you guys want to join us, probably somewhere halfway through next month, middle of January, we're gonna I'm going to do that cleanse again. That, this is going to be the third time I've done it because it's really boosted. I mean, it, it, it has. It's boosted me into a spot where I'm just like, shoo, shoo, shoo. Just feeling the power, man. Just like it just gave me that little kickstart I needed. And so I'm, I'm doing it again. And I think that's what we'll do. Is anybody that wants to join us for the third time I'm doing it, and maybe the first time for you, I'm going to give away snakes, probably two, maybe even three snakes, two females and a male. Boss at Sunset, Het Clown, stuff like that. For anybody, the link's down below. You join. We'll go over the details later, but all, you just need to join us for this next upcoming cleanse. Do something to take care of yourself, man. It, it really, it, it really worked. It, it, I mean, it's working for me still. Even the after effects. It's, did you see the energy coming out of my face? That's not a joke. I'm not messing around. I'm serious right now. Mm, I want you guys to be able to feel like this too, because it feels incredible. I feel like a freaking brand new bouncing baby on steroids. If that was something that felt good. So, so click it, use the code Cusco Wellness, and that will automatically enter you into that that giveaway that we're gonna do next year. And you'll get to get into the best shape of your life possibly. It's freaking win-win, man. I don't know why else to do it. I mean, I'm trying to do the best I can over here. Get out of here, thing. Okay, all right, I'm, let's calm it down. Take it easy. Into 2021. The biggest shout out goes to all of you guys 
who watch the channel consistently. There's so many of you that have been watching with us the whole way, laughing with us, crying with us, celebrating with us. And it's been amazing, man. And we got to meet, like I said, so many people in person, so many real friendships we've created, like my buddy Bradley. Like next year, right at the beginning of next year, we're going to Nerd. And we're going out there. We're gonna we're gonna take over Nerd for a few days. That's gonna be the first thing we do in 2021. Super excited about that. I've always wanted to go out there. Uh, Kevin McCurley and his books have, were a big, huge part of my reintroduction into the hobby, and to be able to go out there and and do some podcasts with them and, and just film video with the whole crew out there and just have a blast. That's how we're gonna bring 2021 in this coming year. And. And starting the whiskey channel. Remember, I talked about starting the whiskey channel. Got my buddy Matt here. What up? We're gonna we're making it happen. There's a link down in the description for the whiskey channel. We're starting. It's gonna be fun. We got enough supplies, I think, to last at least. We got a year's worth of content sitting on the table right here, right now. Uh, parents, don't bring your kids. No. It's it's too much. It's, it's it, there's too much. It's, it's plenty. We need another table. Thank <laughs> you.